Hello everyone, thanks for tuning into today's second video. We're going to have a look at the weather for the next 10 to 14 days for today's second video. Day 10 will take us to the 28th of December. And we'll be able to extend out beyond that with the Accenture Fair set ECM Ensembles. We're going to try a couple of weeks. We'll have a look at the CFS Me Too at the end of the video for the next four weeks. And that will get us into the middle of January. I should get some of that for you in a moment. Just save that first. A video today was our 6am UK weather forecast. And we've got uh, the 18th, I think it is, instalment of a Christmas countdown ahead this evening. So uh, another Christmas update on the way later on. Please like, share, subscribe on all of today's videos and content. Thank you so much, everybody, for doing that. Right, we're going to start off with the CT. The century temperature is uh, continuing to rise. We're now sitting at uh, 5.4, which is uh, nearly one degree above the 61 to 99 average. It's 0.8 of a degree above average. That is provisional to uh, yesterday to the 17th of December. That's going to carry on going up. I think it might be in the sixes by the end of the week. These were GFS upright temperature and precipitation ensembles for the next couple of weeks. Like Cardiff today, red line is the 30 year upper air temperature average for Cardiff. We're starting off significantly above average at the moment. Uh, can we see that uh, upper air temperature coming down though, a little bit? After Tuesday, but we look rather zonal, I have to say here. So up towards Christmas, we've got a bit of zonality uh, going on with but sort of cooler and uh, warmer and cooler and warmer sets alternating with one another. And so the upshot of that is that we're generally above average, I think, with the temperature until around Christmas. After that, we've got a lot of scatter for Christmas itself. So things still not sorted out, things still not decided. Christmas, we've got the colder ensemble members down there, we've got the milder ensemble members up there, so Christmas uncertainty goes on. Beyond that, it looks a little bit above average, I think, as we're heading in towards the new year. Precipitation wise, going to be some very wet weather to come tonight and tomorrow in the south, and then once that goes, gets out of the way, we go a bit drier into southern areas anyway, for the middle part of the week, and then the wet weather coming back from Christmas on into the last week days of January, uh, into the last days of December, I should say, opening days of Jan January, looking very unsettled there, lots of precipitation spikes, so is the deluge returning for the new year, you wouldn't rule it out looking at that, temperature anomalies from the 18th, 26th of December, coming out above average, precipitation anomalies from the 18th, 26th of December, uh, driving on for Ireland, England, Wales, but a little bit wet average for Scotland. The latest wind from that from Earth, no school dot net shows that we're drawing up wind from a southwesterly direction again today. However, cooler air is waiting in the wings up here as a weather system that's coming south across the country. That will develop that wave and bring some very wet weather to England and Wales, particularly southern areas overnight tomorrow, tonight into tomorrow morning. But behind that, wind coming in from more of a um, polar maritime type source. So Potential will start to drop a little bit once that wet weather gets out of the way tomorrow. Right, let's go through the latest chart date event. Signing off with the UK Met Euro run. So, uh, this is Thursday with low pressure to the north east, high pressure southwest, bringing the wind from the west to the northwest direction. Looking um, rather unsettled on Thursday, especially so for the north. Could be a bit stormy as well. Uh, Friday into the weekend, well, more low pressure rolling in from the Atlantic. So, that's Christmas Eve Eve. Saturday 23rd, looking rather wet and windy then. And then the low pressure clears out of the way to uh, Scandinavia on Christmas Eve, pulling in a rather cooler or colder northwesterly flow. Most of the cold air by Christmas Day, in fact, has been pushed off into Scandinavia. We're on the periphery of it. In fact, we can have a look at the upper air temperature there. Um, oh, yeah, I have brought minus five Celsius iceberg through the country. But it's not like the direct northerly blast that the UK Met Euro Rum was uh, showing yesterday. Nevertheless, that is colder for Christmas Day there. Icon looking like this. So, uh, westerly winds bring relatively mild conditions through to the end of week. Could be a bit stormy. As well, that looks wet and windy as we go through into Saturday next week. And then as that low pressure clears away, winds turn into a cooler or a colder northwesterly. And I can actually deliver a proper northerly here. So proper northerly winds setting in with icon as we get to Christmas Day. Um, and that brings snow showers into the north, wintry showers around the coastal regions. Inland, a lot of dry and sunny weather 
probably, but it would be cold, and that would be uh, right far. So that probably keeps us cold into Boxing Day as well, uh, with with, with, the, uh, with the um scenario from Icon there. So Icon going colder uh, uh, for the Midnight Run. Um, right, GFS Midnight Run. Looks like that. Wins again for a relatively mild westerly direction. On Thursday and uh, Friday, looking a bit wet and windy into Saturday. Then the low pressure clears away to Scandinavia for to Christmas Eve. Sunday winds going into a cooler northwesterly. Cold air digs into the north. Christmas Eve to Christmas Day could turn sharp wind sheep air. Struggling to get that cold air down into the south though. And then very quickly by Boxing Day, well Christmas night really, to Boxing Day, low pressure coming back in. I think I to bring further wet and windy weather. That's the 27th of December, looking properly wet and windy uh, there. That low gets out of the way, but a little transient ridge builds through the country by around day 10. And then after that, we're just back into very unsettled conditions. Bit of a cold snap showing up there for New Year's Eve. Winds in from a north northwesterly direction, back into west winds though through New Year's Day by a wet and windy. Uh, we just keep the Atlantic Consort going into the opening days of January. Uh, that's the midnight run. GFS 6 set looking like this. Again, winds coming from that westerly direction for Thursday. Relatively mild then. And into the weekend, wet, windy, Friday through to Saturday. Winds in from the northwest as we go from Saturday into Sunday, Christmas Eve. Um, northerly winds there as we get to Christmas Day into the north. Anyway, could deliver some snow showers through there. But not much precipitation for the south as we're building up this little transient ridge. But uh, I reckon even down the south, we might get some of that cold air through. And certainly cold enough for frost, I think, as we begin Christmas Day there. So it could be nice and crunchy. On the ground. Um, then we start bringing this slider low. So you see this little area of low pressure out to our west there. 6 a.m. on Christmas Day. By Boxing Day. Uh, that little low is actually zipping through across the south. So that brings um, rain. And I can say that brings snow even into southern parts of the country. From Christmas Day to Boxing Day. Um, very, very, very unlikely to verify. Meanwhile, further north we're under the uh, ridge of high pressure. So mostly dry, cold and frosty. And then heading up toward day 10, where we just get this little ridge building through the country. That's we've been quite cold there, so uh, pretty cold as we get into the Christmas to New Year period with quite a lot of frost. Heading to the New Year, then low pressure deepening again in the Atlantic, turning wet and windy once more as we approach New Year. And then on into the beginning of 2024, where low pressure keeps on coming. So further bouts of rain heading in from off the Atlantic and uh, a little bit on the cold side. For northern regions anyway. Okay, this is for KMA. So this is from Korea. Well, South Korea. It isn't Kim it's not North Korea, don't worry, it's not from Kim Kim Jong un. Um this is from South Korea. Again, as we get towards the middle of the week, we're in those westerly winds. That's Thursday. Could be a bit stormy on Thursday. Beyond that, well again, looking quite unsettled. As we go into the eve of Christmas Eve on Saturday, plenty of rain to come then. And then winds turning into that cooler or colder northwesterly direction for Christmas Eve to Christmas Day. So again, KMA still going with the idea, but we have quite a cold Christmas there. Winds are in from the north for Christmas Day. Would deliver wintry showers in the coastal regions, snow showers up north as well. Uh, by Boxing Day, we're losing the cold as low pressure develops to the northwest. High pressure sits from south, so we go milder uh, around and just after Boxing Day, but also wet and windy. Now, there between Christmas and New Year, well, very stormy there, uh, around the 28th of December. That's a real storm we've got going on there, severe gales across most parts of the country, and those very unsettled conditions carry on up to the 30th of December. What is going to stop the Atlantic this winter? If you enjoyed the video, please do like, share, subscribe. Thank you so much, everyone, for doing that. Why not drop a comment and let us know what you think about this and all of our videos, and don't forget to tell friends about guys well, Thank you so much, everyone, for doing that. We only need to put on around, I think it's around 18 now, subscribers, 1A, to get us out to 17.5K. So our next 100 within 17K is imminent. It's not going to take very long, I don't think, for us to get there. If you could give us a sub, it would be amazing. And we will thank you so much, everybody, for that. Okay, GM, again, has seen those relatively mild west winds on Thursday, and then on into Friday and the weekend, where we're staying pretty mild wet. That's Christmas Eve, no northerly, 
um, with GM. So, Chris, Chris Day, just mild, wet, windy. Let's say, low pressure, sweet, sweet, frothy. Energy. You see, obviously, not sorted out at all. Christmas is just a week away now. Christmas Eve, less than a week away. Now, this is not at all sorted out. Um, <laughs> so, it's going to be interesting to see where, what happens with this. Will it be cold? Will it be mild for Christmas? It's going to be very, very, very interesting to see how it all uh, you know how how it how it how it all ends up. Um, anyway, Boxing Day looking a little bit cooler, but still mild. Really, winds in from the west, and we just keep low pressures coming all the way up to day ten. So further wet and windy weather there. And then the ECM looks like that. So relatively mild on Thursday, but could be stormy. A little bit colder into the north. On Friday, uh, next weather system push through the country Friday to Saturday, bring further wet and windy weather in with it. Then the wind tries to go into the north for Christmas Eve, so colder air starts pushing south into Scotland, still relatively mild, wet, windy further south. Christmas Day, it is a bit colder, building a slight transient ridge across the country, um, but that doesn't last by Boxing Day, well, Christmas night really, the next loads coming in. Off the Atlantic, bring further wet weather and milder temperatures, and we finish up at day 10 looking uh, unsettled on the 28th of December with uh, low pressure, bring further bouts of rain and mild temperatures. This is a precipitation forecast based on that ECM run from Tometcho.com. So lots of rain to come across England West tonight and tomorrow. That gets out of the way and leaves us with showers in the north, the west snow showers through central and northern parts of Scotland. Uh, right, so cold air begins to drift into the north by the end of the week. Showers start to turn winchy there, otherwise it's basically rain showers. And then we bring further wet weather in off the Atlantic as we get into Saturday. So this is Chris C.B., 23rd of December. Heavy rain in off the Atlantic. So that turns to snow across Scotland. Uh, and then that wet weather sweeping south east was late Saturday into Christmas Eve. Sunday turns wind into the north, snow showers in central parts of Scotland, wintry showers around the coast. Aberdeen looks quite well placed there for a white Christmas. If you <laughs> are that Wayne Clive, go to the bookies. Um, not advising you to, but if you would like to, Aberdeen looks pretty prime there to pick up some snow showers on that <laughs> northerly wind. Um, on Christmas Eve, I mean, Christmas Day, we might get some of those wintry showers still pushing through. Otherwise, Christmas Day is actually a slightly drier day at that little transit ridge, but by the end, a bit more wet weather coming off the Atlantic. That'll be quite interesting. This is, this is 6 p.m. in the evening on Christmas Day. So as that uh, weather is coming in off the Atlantic, we've got rain turned to snow on the leading edge through Scotland, into the north of England and into parts of Wales as well. Rain further south and east of that, of course. So, um, you know, it's quite interesting, that for, for Christmas Day. Not very often that you see rain coming in from the west and turned to snow on uh, Christmas Day. So, um it's one to watch. Anyway, beyond that, we're into the virus, so the battering continues there between Christmas and New Year. Lots of wet, windy weather still to come. These are the options on the table within the ECM Ensemble today for day 10. Gets us to the 28th of December from ECM themselves today. Um, Clusters haven't updated again at <laughs> the Icelandic Metos. They came back for a few days and they're gone again today. Uh, anyway, we've got 30 members of the ECM Ensemble with high pressure to the south, low pressure to the north, so we're bringing the wind from west east direction, just relatively mild um, with those, and then we've got 21 with more influence from low pressure, but still the same idea, it's low pressure to the north and northwest, high pressure to the south southwest, so winds again coming in from that west east direction of the Atlantic, so both options are mild actually at day 10, in two weeks time, these are the options that we've got, gets us into the new year, it actually gets 2nd of January, 15 members of the ECM ensembles then have a little bit of a mid-Atlantic ridge with a trough more towards the south. That will be turning a bit colder, I think, with winds coming in, perhaps a little bit more from a northwesterly direction. We have got 12 here with high pressure uh, down towards Spain, but also ridging towards Iceland. Uh, that's close to getting cold as well. The complicating factor is the Iberian Ridge, which, of course, is basically basically just an extension from the Azores high. So, complicating patches the Azores high. We really want to see that push you away to the south and west to, to get properly cold weather in. Um, but that will be a little bit colder as well with that option. Then we've got a leather 
with uh, low pressure over and to the east of the country, high pressure out in the Atlantic again. So that looks very unsettled. Could be a little bit cooler with that as well. Uh, we've got eight here with uh, low pressure to our east, high pressure is to the west. <coughs> Excuse me once again, everybody. Uh, winds are in from more of a northwesterly direction with that one. And then lastly, we have got five with high pressure again over over the country, really. And we bring up those winds from like a southerly or a southwest direction. That's a mildest option. But actually, a lot of those options for the beginning of January do look relatively cold, I think. So uh, maybe we'll, we'll, uh, we'll, we'll go colder again into the new year. Although none of them are showing like a proper blocking pattern. So I have to emphasize that. Whilst I say cold, I mean cooler, really. None of them are showing like locked in, very cold weather via a Greenland or Scandinavian high. Okay, CFSB2, and then we're done. So uh, again, if you enjoyed the video, please like, share, subscribe, and share what you're doing about. These are 500 millibar high designs bring down into week periods. The first week period takes to be 18th, 24th of December. The next week looks unsettled. Low pressure to the north, high pressure to the south. Winds coming in from off the Atlantic like that. Week two will be Christmas Day to New Year's Eve. Again, low pressure is dominating the weather, looking very unsettled through the Christmas week. Week three will be the 1st and the 7th of January. New Year, but no change in the weather. Still looking very unsettled indeed. And then finally, week four will be the 8th to the 14th of January. And on and on it goes. Low pressure remains in control to the north. Some high pressure to the south. Wind continue from that westerly direction. Not much happening there if you want cold. <laughs> Cold weather in January. Oh, we shall see. Okay, we're done. If you've enjoyed the video, please do like, share, and subscribe. Thank you so much, everyone, for doing that. Why not drop a comment and let us know what you think about this and all of our videos. Don't forget to tell your friends about Gals Weather. Well, we thank you so much, everybody, for doing that. For us, um, right, so we've got the, and I say just 18, 17, 18 subscribers. We'll get 17.5k. We're so close for our next 100 within 17k. Wouldn't it be epic if we could get up to 18k by the end of the winter? I don't know whether that's doable or not. If the weather gods give us a, uh, give us a SSW or some cold weather later in the winter, maybe it could be, might be, I don't know. But anyway, the next mini target is like 17.5k. We're so close to that, so please give us a Tell your friends and fans to subscribe. Thank you so much. Right, we've got the 18th Christmas update coming up for you this evening. That will be between 7 and half 7, I would have thought. And then uh, tomorrow, 6 a.m. UK weather forecast, the European outlook um, tomorrow as well. You know, the extended European outlook, I should say. And to 10 to 14 day as well. Please keep checking back to the channel for more. But for this one, that's all for now. And thank you so much for watching. Bye for now.